Hello, this is uh, Freeform International. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the subject of getting a new person registered as a customer of Freeform International. Here you see our homepage, freeforminternational.com. And up in the right hand top corner we have register, and I'm going to click on that right now. And as you can see, uh, we have a page register, step one. There's a three step process. Step one, first part is your contact information. This is the main body of the information that we need to know about you. It's basically just who you are. So I'm going to make up some names here. Bob B and Brown. The telephone number is going to be 513-555-1212. Okay, the Fax number is not uh, extremely important to us. We prefer to deal with you by email or by telephone if we have to talk to you. But uh, if you have a fax and if you use it regularly, uh, then go ahead and provide it there. I'm going to skip over it. And I'm going to say uh, Bob at Well, it looks like I, I spelled brown optics wrong. So there you go, Bob at Bob op, or brownoptics.com. It's a fictitious name, of course. The company information is going to be the name of your company. In this case, Brown Optics. Make sure we get the spelling right. Now this field has to do with uh, profiling your account. We have a number of choices here from an optical chain, 10, or lo 10 locations or more, all the way down to a single ophthalmology practice, single optical store, single opti optometric practice. In this case, Brown Optics is a single optical store. So we're going to choose that. Now, for sales rep referring code, if you've been visited by one of our bona fide uh, representatives out in the field and he or she has come to you and convinced you to sign on with us and try us, then um, he or she would have given you a referring code. And if you have one, put it in there now. Otherwise, leave it blank. With, the, with regard to the business license, uh, we really don't need it. It's there in case you want to verify that you're a bona fide optical professional. But after you register, we're going to check you out. Uh, we're going to find you on the, on the web, or we're going to look for you with um, a uh, simple lookup for the yellow pages and such. Uh, since we only deal with uh, professionals, optical professionals, we like to verify that those that register with us are not just uh, you know individuals uh, out to get a cheap pair of lenses. So we'd like to have your website. It's not mandatory, but we, we believe that uh, most professionals will have the website, and that's the first thing that we'll check after you register. So we'll say that um, Brown optics.com is the uh, website. The next field has to do with the number of shipping locations. In this case, uh, Brown Optics is a single optical store, so he or she would have only one shipping location. Now, we do give you the option of having multiple shipping locations. As you can see, we can go up to 25 shipping locations for any, any single registrant. We're going to choose one. Now, if you do have multiple locations, you may not have multiple locations with edging. What you want to do is choose the shipping location to match up with where these lenses are going to be processed. So if you have a single central um, edging location, then that's the location you're going to want to give us the address to. Now, at the bottom here, we have preferred shipping method. This is USPS, which is the Postal Service. We prefer that or you can choose UPS. We think USPS is um, many times cheaper and faster than UPS will be for small packages. Now we're going to continue to the next step. The business name is the name of your location. It could be Main Street or Main Office. <coughs> or it could be uh, Brown Optics. That's the name over the door. 
his address. We'll say it's 1234 Main Street. The city will say it's Cincinnati. <coughs> and once all that's filled in, then you continue to the next step. Now we're going to collect your credit card information. Um, in this case, we'll choose American Express. The card hold number name is Bob B. Brown. It's uh, this name should be the name that's on your card. The card number we're going to say is that number. Card ID and the expiration date is month slash year. The billing address should be the billing address on your card, not your office. Most of us use our personal credit cards for doing business. And um, so whatever address is tied to your card is the address that we're going to want to have here. So we'll say that uh, this address, 623 Fleming Road, is the proper address, Cincinnati, Ohio. Zip code. And then we're going to want to do a private password. This is going to be a password that uh, that you make up. This is going to be the key to entering in and logging into our website in the future. So make sure you remember it. And I'll just make one up here. And of course you repeat. And now I'm going to continue to the next step. Now you notice here that uh, you basically have finished. You're beyond step three. You're now done. This number, in this case, 887-397-3898, is your customer number. That's going to be your login number. So, um, so please jot that down. Now, if you don't, we're going to be sending you an email immediately. And that email is going to come to you, and, and it will contain your customer number. So uh, that's it for this tutorial, and um, have a nice day.